Okay then, this is Golden Axe, and uh, it's pretty good on you, I'm if you ask me. Here's that one coming, there they are. No, that looks so good, is it? Have some of that. <coughs> yeah. It's all there for Golden Axe, it's all here, I mean it's a nice colourful game. Got the moves, not so much in the way of sound effects, just a whack, whack, whack sort of noise, but it's least it'll do. Get the little fellas, pick up the magic. Need that in a little while. this for a while, I used to be quite good at this. <laughs> Three of you. Get one woman. Not very nice is it? Okay then, how are you doing? Who does wins two then? Golden Oldie. Play disc for play Commando or Wakari Warriors. And uh, despite its limits, it's still a pretty good game today. Quite simple, you've got so many screens to get through. Shoot that thing in sight. And the outpost levels, which this is one, you have to shoot everyone. And the others you don't. Outpost one catch. I think there's eight outposts in total. Then it uh, starts again. A nice warm feeling. And you rescue the hostage. Does he help you? No, he doesn't. Uh, it's just a fun little game. It really is. Not simple graphics. Uh, it's a very playable game. Well, you got your bullets and a, a certain amount of grenades. Get the last one, shall we? Where you walk sometimes, but uh, seeing on the layout and where to stand and stuff like that. Okay, here we have the um, absolutely awesome P47 Thunderbolt. Now, I've played the, uh, the Amiga version. PCNU version and this the CPC version. No doubt this is the best version, despite the uh, machine's limits. Fantastic game. Eight levels of uh, what's on action. Various power ups you can get. Um, and you need certain power ups for depending on the level as well. Like this one. The end of the level is a train, so you've got a bomb it. And uh, so you obviously want the bombs, not the missiles that I have at the moment.
here we have the second level, which that scrolling, if it does look fantastic on the old end, but and it's good in the other systems too, but that flat CPC got and just shows when programmed correctly what can be achieved, doesn't it? system you basically race around a wall and uh, you and one other just a one player game there's the uh, the opposition you've got to beat him you've got a fastest lap four leagues and you've got to get to the top two tracks on each uh, league you take on two other players in each each one you got to try and stay on the track And the bottom, you've got the laps, uh, speed, your boost, have a boost you can use, and yes, a limited amount. And then you've got your green or red flag, depending on whether you're not you're in your lead or not. And uh, oh, that's pretty much it. But it's uh, even on the Amstrad, it's uh, pretty much on the edge of your seat sort of stuff sometimes. I'm watching the way that sound, I mean, it moves at a decent pace. tracks <laughs> they're almost horrendous actually in some ways it's amazing what they've uh, come up with on this but it makes it a fantastic game Gotta be careful going in corners you come off the track you've almost definitely lost the race you do well to uh, catch up perhaps in this first one you'll be able to stick on the boost on the long straight Hundred and thirty miles an hour is that? And on the top of the, uh, you can see just a bit of a what happens. Your car takes a bit of a hit. It takes so much damage before you actually end up writing your car off. Which I imagine on the uh, top couple of tracks in the top division would be quite easy. Anyhow, stunt car racer, awesome game. Okay, you join me at the end of the uh, races, 6 of 6 of Division 4, and you see I've beaten the Roadhog, end table, 4 wins out of 4, and 4 fastest laps. Think I'll do it, promotion for Ash. It makes me into Division 3, we've got the big ramp and the stepping stones, good luck with them. <laughs> Just look at this track. You can see that okay. Uh, quite easily fall in between them, which I usually do, so it's a shame really because that bit makes it a bit hard to navigate. <laughs> yeah, so Kari Warriors then. Uh, I guess you just keep going, don't you? Keep on going. This is fun. It's oh, really good on the Amstrad. Uh, I just could say the visuals are a little cartoon, but it's get a chance, jump in a tank. Mow the people down, can't you? Yeah, that's it. There you go. You run up the screen, you bullets and your grenades, taking everything out in sight. Well, 
Well, let's find another tank. Pretty well on the Amstrad, as we said. I mean, yeah, it doesn't, uh, he doesn't look like Turrican, does he? But, uh, if you can tell it's Turrican, everything else is there. like in the, the other Tarkin version. Have some of that. Amstrad CPC, not too shabby is it? Yeah, it's missing the uh, missing the music. You do end up having the music, to be honest, but it's pretty impressive game all the time. Lots of graphics going on there. Lots of scrolling. seen here is Smash TV. I think they've done a great job with this. Did probably as best you could get. You know Smash TV. Smash TV then, as I was about to say, yeah, sorry. Uh, played like two joysticks and stuff like that, which you couldn't do on the uh, matrix systems. Quite a few different weapons to get, it's all, all about picking up the prizes and staying alive, really. Little 
shield. Continental Circus, a marvellous place that has to be said. Pretty tricky in places, then can't expect it I suppose. Pretty quick, colourful, all the cars are the same colour. But Russian sound going past the car, which is quite nice. Yep, rain as well. The idea is eight circuits. Oops. <laughs> the idea is eight circuits. You uh, The other eight circuits you've got to qualify at a certain uh, rank. I just want to qualify an 80th place, and currently 88. I should have the time to do it if I don't crash anymore. Uh, it's just good fun. I mean, WC Le Mans was uh, close to this, but didn't quite have this colour as well. And monochrome. Now we have rain. Oh, now we've got to be careful. <laughs> it's good though, it's good to see this on the Amstrad, it really is. You've done a wonderful job. Alright then, so this is Grisor, of course. Control, also known as. As soon as I saw this in a Amstrad Action magazine, I knew I had to have it. Uh, it's gorgeous looking, very playable. Admittedly, it's a uh, it's um flip screen. Fantastic game. Got the three D sections as well. Which are pretty good now, like. Okay. 
Okay then, so my number one game is Elite. Um, this game I played a hell of a lot in my childhood. It's not the best version of Elite for the 8-bit machines, has to be said, but um, there's a little bit of colour compared to some of the others, but it does lack a bit of speed. But you can get past that, it's just, for then, from back then, over 30 years ago, it was an immense game. Nothing else quite like it. Uh, let's go through some of the screens before we uh, launch into space. That's where we're heading to. Bought some uh, alloys. There's a galactic map. Eight, eight galactic maps there are, so there's uh, hundreds of stars, although planets. But all, it's all basically the same thing, of course, but back then, open ended gameplay was, wasn't very common, was it? So we'll launch. Off we go. My station. You, uh, you, obviously, you build yourself up regarding money, weapons, any way you want to go, really. There you say, that's me leaving the space station. In the rear view. You're in the safety. You can head down. More hub space to another. Another planet. Sell our goods. Perhaps we'll encounter some pirates on the way, have a battle. That's basically what it's all about. It's uh, building yourself up, try and reach that elite status. Use the jump drive to get to the planet a bit quicker. So you join me in battle. When you're fully equipped, you can collect all the cargo that the ships leave behind. And when you're uh, when you've got the money, you can dock with a station, the docking computer, and I have to do all the hard work. All good stuff. And you join me. We're about to uh, dock at the station. It's uh, can be quite a tricky sequence because the uh, station is always rotating. Being careful, you might have another ship come out at the same time. <laughs> you can avoid a uh, and cause a collision. This um, that's got the money. Like oh, that. Look at that. Oh my word. All better graphics, of course, but that uh, is good. When you've got the money, you can have a docking computer. So once you're in the safety zone, it's not a problem. Anyway, Elite. The game of my childhood, my number one M Stroke game. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon.